So we're going to be working on my dad's changing the oil on my dad's tractor. You've seen a previous episode when we changed it on my dad's car. Now we're changing on the tractor. So we're quarantined because of the coronavirus, but before I talk about that, our kids' garage channel made it onto Count Customs. So we're going to see what the Count had to say about us. Kids Garage absolutely rocks. I love it. The music rocks. Your kids absolutely rock. Okay. Thank you, Count. So, right now I'm going to track kids of the coronavirus. So, if you go to the store to get toilet paper, don't get it all because we're going to need some of it because we're almost out. And we don't want to lose the leaves. Go get that tractor! Get on with the video. Today we're going to be changing the oil on my dad's Kubota ZD326. Here's what we're going to need. We're going to need oil, oil filter, oil vent, a filter, and a 14 millimeter wrench, a manual, oil pan, and a jack. Let's go! To open the hood, Release the lever and pull it back. There, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to be working with today. We need a jack. Oh, go get it! This is where the blue towel is coming. It's gonna shoot out. To Michael. You say I need some more blue towels to make my towel. And don't lose the plug too. It's almost there. Here it comes. Uh, oh, and it, we need more paper towel. Got it, Michael. Steven, pull up the dipstick to make the oil come out faster. It's getting faster. It's a big chunk of it now. While the oil is draining, we're going to take out the filter and replace it. Steven, the oil wrench, please, and the filter wrench. You think you're coming to this all the way? Thank you. So now that we got the wrench, you put it on this way. And then you crank it up. And then once you get it, Cranked enough, you can get it with your, you can get it with your hands. Okay, now that I can get it with my hand, you need your blue towel. So you can quickly 
put it in here. You need more food, but what else can you with? And see oil. There we go. We unwrap it. Before you put it on, you're gonna need to get a little bit of oil around the gasket over here. So it will fit. Just roll it with your finger. Get a little bit more. It's a little too much. Now it's like that, you can put it on. See, and I need a blue towel. Um, I, I, I you. got some. Now that's hand tight, we can use the wrench. But be careful not to touch the sen temperature sensor wire. Just get it on a little bit. And don't go all the way down on it in case you hit the wire. I'll jack up the plug. That's good. Now that the oil is done draining out, it's important to put the bolt back in. Now that it's nice and tight, we can put the oil in the new one. Make sure it's going to turn up. I'll get the oil. And Stephen will get the butter. I guess he doesn't want to. No, I'm not. Now remove the cap. Don't lose it because that might be possible. And then get your clean funnel and put it in. Just like that. You gotta pour it slow and a little bit at a time or else it's gonna run out. Next we're gonna have to replace the cap. Make sure you have your blue towel on it so it won't leak. And screw on the cap. Remember boys and girls, lady and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, righty tidy, lefty woosy. Next we're gonna lower the, remove the oil can and lower the jack. And uh, be careful when you're doing it because oil might spill out. Eureka, look at this. That's how dirty it got. Now, lower the jack. When you, when you lower it, you just gotta twist it back. Be careful when you do it, or you might break. Now we're gonna check the oil level. It's a little high, but it's okay because the uh, filter is clean. We're gonna start it up so the oil filter fills up and then we're gonna check it again. But when we start it up, make sure the handlebars are like that. Looks good. That's going to end up Chris Garage. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more videos. And please, please recycle your oil properly. So, take it. Time's up.